welcome to Two Mums and a Camera. We're back! We are back. It's been a while, it's been a hasn't really long it? Time. Well, it's fall, not officially, but it's September. People and are it, back to school. It's bloody cold outside. It is. We're in Canada. It's already winter. <clears throat> um, so we have decided to have a nice glass of red wine. And it's so good coming to Jess's house and having wine. It's very different. I think this is Jesse wine. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Cheers to Jess. Yes. Thanks, and cheers yes. to being back. We're mm -hmm. so excited. So we have decided to talk a little bit about um, what I had gone through uh, this past summer. Because it feels like the summer has come and gone. Yeah. And it's been very, um, very difficult time in my life. And um, I thought that we should talk about it because mm -hmm. we've actually missed quite a few weeks of filming because of this. And if you're watching this, uh, thank you so much for giving us another shot. I know we uh, really kind of fell off the face of the earth this summer, but uh, this summer did not go as we had planned. No. And things are still in a bit of turmoil, but we're um, going to power through it. And I think that uh, by sharing some of this stuff, it can actually be good yeah. for uh, people to hear. Very helpful. So um, when we last spoke, to you guys when we last filmed we were talking about going to a family reunion Shell was getting yeah, her hair done. hair done she's looking fabulous and we were so excited and in one short day everything fell apart so I went to my doctors to get some results uh, just a follow-up appointment I had had a stress test done and she was reading off the results to me and she's like, oh, everything looks great. And she was like, you know, just reading it off. And then she stopped reading and her face just changed. And I instantly knew something was wrong. So she said to me, oh, well, your heart is fine, except for when it's under stress. And when it's under stress, it looks like there could be, and they, they put on the report, a moderate to severe blockage. We were supposed to go the next day right. for the family reunion. My doctor said, no, you cannot go to the family reunion. You cannot travel. You cannot have your, your um, heart rate go above 90. No exercise. Um, they put me on blood thinners. Um, cholesterol medication. Cholesterol medication. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. Um, beta blockers. You Nitro name it. spray. I was on, like... Instantly, in an instant, my whole life seemed to fall apart. And I walked in healthy. And in case you don't know this about us, we don't handle this kind of thing <laughs> well. <laughs> no. We're a little bit dramatic, okay? Very dramatic, very emotional. So I had a meltdown, basically. Yes. And it was a good thing Gavin, my husband, was there because he'd actually decided last minute to drive me to the doctors because mm -hmm. there was a that was fake. downpour of rain and he's like you know what Nick I'm gonna drive you because the weather's terrible but I'm like oh, I'm fine and he's like no I'm gonna drive you today and thank God because I texted him he was in the car waiting for me I said get in here right now there's a problem and he came in and I had I was bawling crying trying to deal with this medication that I had to go on trying to cancel a trip that we've been planning for a year uh, it was it was devastating so Fast forward to today, I believe Jess talked to you guys a little bit about what I was going through. So many of you sent messages of support and um, suggestions and ideas at how to work through this. I have to say, our YouTube family is just incredible. Yeah. We love you guys so much and, and so appreciate it. And, and a lot of those comments brought a lot of um, comfort to me at a time that was really very mm -hmm. difficult. So where we are right now, and I'm going to try and quicken this up a little bit because this could take all day. This could be all day. And this is still in progress, right? We right. Really... So Shelly came, I had a cardiologist appointment like in, in a day or two. And Shelly came along with me. And um, basically he said what? He said, you're probably going to need an angiogram, but we want to do the nuclear test. So we did the nuclear test. Shell came with me. It was a five-hour test yeah. where they inject nuclear... Um, that's what I do for a living, by the way. Yeah, that's what Shell does. It's another stress test with pictures. That came back negative, which is actually a good thing. <laughs> yeah. 
So that's, that didn't show any of the blockages that the first stress test, the stress echo showed. Showed nothing. In fact, the, on the report, they said this person, this patient, has no chance of cardiac problems for two to three years. So we have two tests that say Complete different opposite. things. So Nikki talked to her doctor about it and they determined that she would get a second opinion from a different cardiologist. Well, and you know, a shell as, as someone that does nuclear medicine, she did say to the cardiologist, you know, why does my sister need to do a nuclear test? Why, if you're gonna do an angiogram, why wouldn't you just go straight to the angiogram? Right. So it's very unsettling because everything that has happened, nothing seems to make sense. Right. It's on complete different ends of the spectrum. And when I went to pick up, because your suggestion right. was, go and pick up the films from the stress test and the, um, and the, nu the nuclear test so that if you get a second opinion, the doctors can comment on it can see the picture see it and and you know and that's good because those tests belong to you you had them at a clinic they belong to you we went to pick up the one that was positive it's not available so they're saying to us that we can't give you your stress test on a disc because it's not uploading properly or downloading properly or right. the film is slowing down and my husband who went to pick it up said well that doesn't make any sense we've never had issues picking up test results before like how do you how do how does this software work for other patients well we don't ever have a problem it's only your wife's that we have a problem with hmm so <laughs> and that is that is the one test that holds that was all the, the only test. All the, the negative results for me. Right. So well, positive. <laughs> positive results. Right. But negative in that it impacted my health significantly. It impacted our summer. It did everything. Right. So I guess the moral to the story is you don't always know. Women's stress tests and heart tests, especially stress tests, are not a hundred percent accurate. In fact, a regular stress test has a 25% chance of being wrong for women. There can be false positives and um, a stress echo gives you a little bit more information. Um, uh, the nuclear test gives you a little bit more information. But a regular stress test really is not 100%. So if you're a woman and you're going for these tests, please understand when you get a result like that, don't freak out the way I did. <laughs> Because most people might know <laughs> there's a chance that it could be wrong. So I'm I will follow up with you guys right now. We still don't know what's happening. No. We're waiting for a second opinion from a different doctor. But I have to say, you also know what goes on in your own body. I've had stomach problems for since I was in my twenties. I was diagnosed with reflux and I get chest pain a lot because of that. Um, I had a very stressful summer uh, with Jess being sick and I feel like it, it acted up again and I feel that it's my stomach that's causing my problems, not my heart. So I went off of all the medications, I'm getting a second opinion and I really feel very strongly that it's not my heart. I don't know 100% and I, that's why I'm going for the second opinion but that's where we are right now. And um, we are controlling our diet and our yes. alcohol consumption. Right. Red wine's actually good for your heart, just in case you want to know. Um, in, in moderation. So we've been playing around with vegetarian, yes. vegan, Mediterranean, trying <coughs> to figure out what works for us. We've um, really cut the meats, the chicken, um, fish, even chicken and fish, a little a bit. Tiny little bit per week. And mostly vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, whole grains, fruits. Cut out sugar. Um, really reduced um, sugars quite a bit because sugar is almost in everything. And feeling great. Mm -hmm. Feel I dropped close to 10 pounds and I feel really good. So yeah, so I mean, we'll take the good with the bad and I will update you once I know more. But thank you guys for hanging in there with us. And all the advice, thank you very much. Yeah. So cheers to you guys and we'll talk soon.